I need some coffee. Do you guys want some coffee? Grab a cup of tea, grab a cup of coffee, and let's just have a chat. Today it is raining outside. It is super, super misty and cloudy and so I thought this would be a great time to just have a little bit of a coffee chat. Super cozy day. I wanted to check up on the SMART goals. Let's see, a couple months ago I did a video on SMART goals. I had decided because I'm a nursing faculty and we teach SMART criteria to students all the time and I thought I need to actually apply some of this to my own life. Set some goals and see some things that I'd like to achieve. So I wanted to check in with you on the SMART goals and I also wanted to talk about some exciting things going on with this channel and then with some other things that I would like to add in terms of, I've talked about in videos before where I am really interested in becoming an entrepreneur within nursing and looking at starting my own business. And I'd love to take you along for that journey with me. I mean, at this point in time, I haven't started yet. Literally the first thing I did was start filming for YouTube. That was it. And then everything is just starting to unfold and develop from there. Now, 2021 would be an amazing time, I think, for you nurses out there, your caregivers out there, student nurses to start considering maybe you want to become an entrepreneur. So this is a great time to start thinking about it and how can nursing fulfill a need and meet a need within healthcare. And I'm Dr. Lisa Chapel. I am a doctor of nursing practice, an associate professor, and studying to have my board certification as a health and wellness nurse coach. I make videos for nurses, students, and caregivers on how to become more empowered and resilient. If that sounds interesting to you, I hope that you will stick around. I have published, I think, 12 videos at this point. Originally, I set the goal to do a video every other week, and I've actually been able to exceed that goal, and I've been making videos every week. I've had to really think about if this is something sustainable that I could continue doing, and what's happened is I really started to value and prioritize this, because it does take a significant amount of time and effort. I have nothing but respect for YouTubers because it is a lot of work that they put into the whole production process, editing process, and then uploading, adding descriptions, adding timestamps, all the things that go into making a YouTube channel successful. And so I have to ask myself, is this something that I can continue? Well, I will tell you it's something I want to continue and want to set up new goals for myself in relation to this channel. I absolutely love this process and I love the idea of being able to create content every single week that is valuable to other people and being able to make it instantly available. So I would love to challenge myself to continue on this journey. And I also challenge you, especially with nurses, we need to hear more from you. The world needs to hear what you have to say you've just been through this incredibly difficult year. There are some incredible nurse YouTubers out there, so I would like to show some support for their channels. So I'm gonna link my favorites below. Be sure to go check them out. Then I want you to think about, is this something maybe that you could do? And maybe YouTube isn't your jam, and so maybe you'd like to do something else. Why not start a blog? Either way, the idea is to be sharing information as a nurse that other people will find really valuable. You have a voice, you need to use it. You have some amazing things to share. Please don't feel like no one wants to listen or it's already been said before because you have some very valuable things to share. So I'm gonna share kind of what's happened with me in the last <laughs> since I published that video, which I think I filmed the video in early March and I posted it by April 1st in order to meet my own goal. At that point, when I filmed that first video, as I was filming, I was having these just this storm of shame 
<laughs> washing over me and feeling like this is so dumb. <laughs> like, what am I even doing? I'm in a room talking to myself staring at my phone no one is going to care what i even have to say and i'm not like some major youtuber now not even close but i've been really surprised and impressed that some of the videos are are getting views they're getting traction which is awesome i thought no one would watch what i had to say and so really it was just with that first filming that i just felt so stupid <laughs> doing it. That's gotten really better and better with every single video. I love the editing process because you can take out <laughs> so much. I would just really encourage you to not be ashamed to just go ahead, turn on that camera and start filming. Maybe in your mind you might just say, I'm not gonna post this. I'm just gonna film, I'm not gonna post it. And then watch it. You might be really surprised at how interesting and how valuable it is. Okay, so a little bit more about my process and my journey with this. So I started that first video and then as I was looking at content for future videos, I was also reading some really valuable books. To me, I picked up the book by Marie Forleo, Everything is Figure Outable, which is pretty transformative and she talks about wanting to set up her own coaching business, which now she's an international, <laughs> very famous, she has her own company Marie Forleo International and she has Marie TV over on YouTube um, which she's run for over a decade she's got all kinds of things going on in her coaching business and as I was reading this book and reading about her talking about coaching I'm just thinking ah oh, I really want to do this I want to coach I would like to mentor other people and use my nursing skills in a different way there's this beautiful thing called nurse coaching Coaching, and it's actually a thing and I, I think I discovered this a few years ago when I was really thinking about coaching and thinking well gosh it'd be really nice to merge coaching and nursing together because you could do so much with that and then to find that nurse coaching exists it is a thing a fairly new <laughs> profession to tell you the truth. Only really been around for the last decade, 2010 or so. The first program started coming out. As I was reading about this with Marie Forleo, I was thinking, I would like to look at nurse coaching again. And so I looked up nurse coaching and literally this program, this was on a Friday, the program starts Monday and it just, everything lined up and I was, I was like, I'm going to enroll. And so I talked to my husband about it and he was very supportive. And so I went ahead and enrolled in this program and I've been doing it for the last eight weeks or so. Absolutely adoring and loving it. It has been life changing so far. We do pure coaching dyads and we had a coaching triad. So the three of us coaching each other and then we give feedback on the coaching. It's been absolutely incredible. The amazing thing about this pure coaching is that you receive free coaching. It is so helpful. And one of the funny, I guess, serendipities is that the coaching program uses smart goals <laughs> in order to help people. And so it was really interesting that I had set up the smart goal video, really having no idea what I was doing. And then within a month, within a couple of weeks, really, I'm enrolled in this nurse coaching program and I'm learning about implementing smart goals in order to help care for oneself and in order to reach goals related to health and wellness. That's what a nurse coach does. They work with clients and so they can set up their own business, they can consult, they can implement it within the hospital setting. There's so many different things that could be done with nurse coaching and I could make entire videos about nurse coaching so if you're interested in that let me know in the comments below. It's just been a really incredible journey that's opened up all kinds of opportunities and synchronicities in my life. The next thing that I'm kind of working on and some smart goals that I'm setting up in my life involve setting up a website and then eventually I would like to become a blogger and start blogging and so I will just go ahead. This is the end of May. It is May 
30th, I think, <laughs> when I'm filming this video. And I would like to set up the goal that by, let's call it June 30th, so I give myself a month to get this all together, I will start blogging. And I'd like to set the goal that I would do that every single week. By June 30th, I will put out my first blog on my website. My website, I will have identified a platform that will host my website. I will have a domain and I will have created three sections for my website, the homepage, the contact and about, and a blog section so that I could begin blogging every week. Those are my next goals in terms of what I want to do to kind of grow this thing that I have going on here, which I'm not even sure exactly what it is other than I'm starting to consider myself an entrepreneur within nursing and that I want to help you also start thinking of yourself as an entrepreneur within nursing. And so those are my new SMART goals. If you've had an opportunity to set some SMART goals for things that you would like to accomplish, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear about it. I hope that these chats are helpful to you and I hope that you have a wonderful day.